Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back working on this machine right here. In the last video, we ended up adding these engine pods and also the wings. We also ended up actually adding these doors as well, and that is pretty awesome. Now, what these actually allow us to do is fly if we wanted to. Um, what I did after last video was I decided... Will these engines actually lift us up off the ground? Now, if I go ahead and start them, and I actually start the engines up, you guys will see that they will um, maybe lift us off the ground, or maybe not lift us off the ground. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure, but let's go ahead and see. So, this is us, full pelt. Go ahead and press W, and there we go. It does actually lift it off the ground. How awesome is that? Unfortunately, we have literally no control over this, but it's kind of cool. Rot row raggy looks like it's going down. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Bam, there we go. Okay, yeah, so it does actually take off. It has enough power to take off. Uh, and that is all I was really testing. Anyway, what we're gonna do today is we are gonna work on adding a fuel tank to this thing because at the minute, I'm not entirely sure where one should go. So let's go ahead and start building, shall we? Okie dokie, so fuel tank. I think uh, we have quite a lot of space or quite a lot of space uh, for a fuel tank down here. So. Let's go ahead and start doing all of this on both sides. We're going to delete that guy right there. We're actually going to delete this guy right here. And we're going to continue this deleting process um, as we go backwards. All of these guys are going to be deleted. All of these guys are going to be deleted also. And a lot of this is going to be deleted too. So all of these guys, there we go. All of this, all of this, all of these, there we go. Okay, so that's all deleted. Now we need to make sure we still have enough space in the middle for a um, thingamabobby. So actually, we need it to come out to... Is it there? I don't know whether it's there or not. That is 11. Okay, so realistically, this space in the center is for a container. Whether we can fit a container in here or not, I'm unsure. But um, yeah, that's what it's for. So essentially, we need to make sure that the uh, fuel tank actually starts right here. And we can't go any further in. So that is how this is going to work. Let's go ahead and put these guys on like so. There we go. So we can build those all the way across. And we can use the space in the center. I'm then going to delete this guy. And I'm going to delete this guy. And I'm going to do this. And I'm also going to do this on this side. There we go. So that hopefully we can use the rest of this space uh, the way we want to. So I'm going to do this uh, like so. The bottom is going to be extremely flat if we do this. But that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and shove one of these guys into here like uh, this, I guess. I actually know. Let's do it like that. There we go. Looks kind of cool that way. Uh, we'll delete this one. We'll do the same thing right here. So like so. And we're going to have to just seal this off. I don't know how this is going to work, but I want to do it. So let's send this this way, just like so. We'll attach this guy onto this end as well, uh, like this. And the fuel tank is just going to have to be this big. It's not that large, but it... it that's it. That's all I can really do, unfortunately. So this is going to go all the way backwards to about here. That's fine. What have I done on this end? I've done this. Okay, hang on. Uh, 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 there we go. Awesome. And then we just need to attach it all back together, and that is it. So let's go ahead and go from there. Seal this off. There we go. I'm then going to go ahead and seal this bit off like so. Okay, which is kind of interesting uh, and should work. Delete this guy. What did I do on the other side? I think I just did this. And then what we're going to do is grab these guys, flip them over so they're upside down, and send it all the way backwards. There we go. I know that might look a little bit strange, but it also might work, and that is all we really need. So, there you go. Also, kind of thinking these aren't big enough. Still. I, I still think these are actually too small. So we might need to figure out somewhere else to have fuel too. I don't know where though. What if we make the underside slightly rounded too, actually? That's a good idea. So delete all of these guys all the way down to there. Uh, and then if we can, we're going to try and go under. Uh, don't know how this is going to work, but essentially we're going to do this. Oh, this needs to be raised up. Okay. It's going to be kind of tricky to build this in the end, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to go on the underside just by doing this uh, kind of thing. There we go. So if we build that in like that, that's good. Uh, I'm also going to do it to there as well. I'm going to go ahead and fix in this bit right here. Oh no, the underside isn't going to work. The underside is not going to work, because this is where the um, where the container's going to go. The container's going to go straight into there. Ah, that's an issue. That is a bit of an issue. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, delete these guys. What we might be able to do is uh, this. Okay, so if we go with this right here to there, that's good. We go ahead and we attach this guy onto there like this. That's fine. And then we... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Because we need this bit to be open, but actually I can get away with doing this probably and I can probably get away with doing this And then I'm just gonna attach these guys together properly and then that should look okay So if we do this, that's fine go to the other end. That's also fine And we just need to seal this bit off in the middle and then that'll be okay, too So if we do this all the way down there like so good and then if we do this going backwards down there as well That should be fine. I think Okay, I also kind of want these fuel tanks to be attached together as well. So what we'll do is we'll delete this little hole right here. And we'll attach them together just like this. Oh, yes. Okay, is this going to work? I don't know whether this is going to work. But essentially attach those guys there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and just seal it off like this on the top. And then they should have a gap to attach to each other in the front. Which indeed they do, so this is good. Anyway, fluid. We need to get ourselves a meter, we need to get ourselves a spawner, and then we need to attach all of the hoses to this tank on the bottom. Whether that's going to work or not, I don't know, but I'm hoping so. So go ahead and attach those guys both in there. We then need fluid ports for each engine, and each engine needs to attach down into here properly. So delete this guy. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Go ahead and attach this onto there like so. Delete this guy also and do the same thing. There we go. Attach this guy onto there and do that. There we go. Awesome. Do that guy as well. And then essentially we just need to add a hose to each of these to make sure they work. But actually, the way that I want to do this is via a pipe. This might be a little bit strange, but essentially I'm going to go ahead and do this. Upwards to there. I'm going to do this. Upwards to there also. Going to get ourselves a hose. End. Thank you, my Bobby. One of these guys. Attach it onto there like so. Attach it onto there like so. And then attach all of this together and hopefully all of it fits. So, rope to there, there we go, rope to there, awesome, do the same thing to here, and do the same thing to here, and spawn it in. What does that look like? Yeah, okay, the ropes don't actually look too out of place, uh, just dangling there, and if we can, let's get inside. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, we can get in the seat, and if we do this, hopefully the ropes are still um, loose, which indeed they are. Okay, fantastic. Okay, just out of curiosity then, I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves a dial really fast. Uh, and I'm essentially just going to go and shove two of them in here like this. Uh, this is going to be for the fuel. Uh, fuel. There we go. And this one's going to be for the battery for now. Uh, because reasons. So yeah, uh, it doesn't actually have a battery in, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and attach this down to level. Go ahead and spawn it in. And see how much fuel we're actually carrying. I'm assuming not very much, but I don't know. 10, uh, almost 11,000 liters. I think that'll get us quite far. I, I think so. I think that'll be okay. All right, good. Fuel tank added. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is actually save this as Spaceship 3. There we go. Save this as Spaceship 3. And essentially what I want to do is load up presets. This container, I want to see how long it is because I might have made it too short. We'll see. Uh, but essentially from there all the way across to here is... 29. Let's load up our thingamabobby and see if it is 29 long. Um, if it is, that's awesome. If it isn't, I might cry. So from there, all the way backwards to the rear, to about here. That is 30. So 29 leads us to there. It's pushing it. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely pushing it, but it is correct. So maybe that's okay. So attach all these guys together, just like this. There you go. Delete that guy. Attach these guys together right here. And I'm also going to delete this guy, put that in there, and there we go. Okay, cool. So, delete these. Awesome. Uh, in the ceiling, we're going to go ahead and attach the connectors. So, 11 tall. Actually, how tall is it now? Da -da 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 -da. 13. Okay, this might be fine. So, I'm actually just going to go to the corner where it needs to be. Right there. I'm going to drop down two. Going to get ourselves a connector. And we're just going to go and slap it on there. We're then going to do the same thing at the other end. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to block the door a little bit. But actually, I could just make this a little bit bigger. That's fine. But anyway, drop it down to attach this under there like that. And now we should be able to fly over, connect on to uh, the things that we need to connect on to. And that should be fine. With that being said, actually, delete these guys on the rear. Okay. We're going to take the entire rear of the aircraft and we're going to push it backwards about three blocks. I know that might sound a little bit strange and maybe too much, but I do want it to go backwards that far for reasons. Yeah, for reasons. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. No, we need to push it backwards because we need the space in the center to be a little bit bigger so that we have a little bit more leeway when we're actually trying to connect on. So let's go ahead and cut this. 
Move it backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go with five. There we go. Paste it in there. Then what we're going to do is grab the actual bit in the middle. So from here down to there. This will actually give us more fuel too. So that's, that's something that I'm quite pleased about. We're going to go down to there. That's awesome. And I think that's everything. So we go ahead and copy it. Move it forwards. Paste it in right there. Merge this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy. And spawn it in again. What does that look like? Yeah, I mean, I think that looks a little bit more normal anyway. Uh, I do need to sort out this little gap on the edge, because for some reason I didn't copy this piece. Um, but that's okay, so put that in there, there we go, awesome. Go ahead and seal this bit off as well, and do this bit too, there we go. Okay, it's all done, it's all sealed off, excellent. Okay, I'm happy with this. I am actually very happy with this. Let's see how much fuel is inside it now. 12,500, pretty much. Okay, good. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is actually getting the, the actual um, side, side by side done properly. Uh, but I think we will be able to do that as well. Just to give it a little bit of a guide though, uh, I'm actually going to go and delete four. All the way down, there we go. Uh, actually, only to there, that's fine. Uh, place all of these guys onto there as well, that's fine as well. Uh, we're going to place this guy back in, that's okay. And we're going to do the same at this end as well. Now, I also need to figure out where the center of this is. So, where's 29? Actually, no. Hang on. Delete these guys. Delete that one. I'm going to seal this bit up to there. And I'm just going to seal this across. That's okay. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and do these guys. And we're going to attach it onto there like this. Bam. There we go. Okay, yes. Because I, I want us to have at least the path. You know? I want that. Anyway. Uh, so, from this all the way to this end. How many is that? That is 33. Okay, so let's go 2 in. That is 29. So 2 in is 29. Let's go from here up to the ceiling. Uh, from here up to the ceiling also. Delete these guys. Delete this guy. Yes. Delete all of these all the way across. And delete these guys up to... I don't know. I guess there-ish, I suppose. Okay, connectors. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Smash it on there. That's good. Uh, smash it on there as well. And the other thing that I want to do is actually add a railing uh, across. I don't want to, like, die. So we're actually going to add railings to this. Which might be a little bit strange, but sure. So let's go ahead and attach these guys to there. We'll send it all the way across. And we'll do the same thing on this side all the way across too. Just so we don't die. Excellent. I'm actually really pleased with this. So you can come out of the cockpit. You can walk backwards. You can see the container in the container area. And then you can walk out around the side all the way around into the rear if you need to. Unfortunately, this bit is in a bit of a bad position, uh, but we should fix that, actually. All right, so if I deleted these guys, and instead of going uh, in there, we go in here, and then we just straight pipe it up, that might be fine. In fact, rocket boosters, we're going to make it look lovely while we do that, too. So there we go. Yes. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Let's do a similar thing on the front end as well. So rocket booster all the way down to there-ish, and then attach this guy to the side just like so, and that is awesome. Yeah, okay, I'm pleased with this. I'm very pleased with this. Okay, so now we can actually walk around inside of here. We can then go to the outside. I need a bit of a railing on this, but that's okay. We can then walk on the outside to the front, open the door, go inside, and get to the cockpit. So the sleeping quarters is back there, and the flying quarters is here. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Okay, so last thing then uh, for the outside, let's go ahead and start adding some railings, just so we don't fall off uh, quite as easily. So railings, yes. Uh, segment end, we're just going to go ahead and shove that guy right here like this. Um, we'll then put a corner piece in because, um, yeah, this is a corner, of course. Let's go ahead and shove that right there. We'll do the exact same thing on this end, of course. So that's going to go there. Grab the end piece, whack it into here. Just like so. We're going to attach those guys together with one of these. Do the same thing right here. And if you're wondering why I'm leaving it all sort of white for right now, um, there is a sort of a reason. Uh, I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually have this um, deleted here. This might be kind of weird, but essentially we're going to have it over the edge. So if we can, we're going to get a diagonal segment to there. And then from the middle... We're going to send it this way. So, I don't know how we attach these guys together properly. But essentially, I want this to go here. Like this. Even though it's slightly over the edge. But I guess we can just attach one of those. Um, and have it out there. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the other end. I'm then going to attach them together in the middle. And then we can go from there. 
Okay, so there we go. We've done it, guys. We've added the thing around the outside, which is like a little railing that allows us to walk around the outside if we need to. Um, this sort of messes with my plans a little bit uh, for where the landing gear is going to go, but that's okay. We can sort that out in the future. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll sort something out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yes, this is pretty awesome. So you get onto the aircraft from here. You walk forwards and you can get in this way. Uh, I need to add some stairs in there so we can actually get through easier. And then you run to the back end, and you could go this way too, into the sleeping quarters, which I'm not sure this is going to be a sleeping quarters, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. So now we have a fuel tank um, on the outside. This isn't one of the planned videos, so that is... Um Gonna make it eight at least, but um, that's okay. That is completely fine. We've also added the center section that makes a container be allowed to be stored in here. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this thing so far, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, I've done it again. I've ended early without showing you guys the differences. So, this is what we started with. This is our first fuselage. Obviously, from there, we've actually gone to this one, which we added engines and wings. On this one, we've obviously extended the center section a little bit. Uh, we've got the engines, we've got the wings, and now we've got a fuel tank around the bottom edge. And I think that looks awesome. So, uh, in the next video, I do actually have something written right here. Uh, we need to build the landing gear, so that is what we'll be doing next time. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we can do that. I, I don't know where they're gonna go. They were originally gonna go on the side, uh, but now I need to figure out something else. I'm not sure what, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.